Yo, Liam here, and I'd like to preface this episode of UHC Highlights by explaining what it is. First off, I have promised UHC Highlights for you guys for a long time now. Uh, I'm just in the MCSG hub now. Um, I'm on a different server for this one. IP and stuff is going to be below, but I just wanted to tell you guys what this series is going to be because it's going to be on my channel a bit more often, so let's get into an explanation. Um, number one, UHC is a game mode where players spawn in a vanilla world and they have to gather their own materials starting off with nothing in order to kill each other, but the only way to regenerate health is um, by golden apples that you have to make yourself. Last player alive wins. It's a fight to the death. It's pretty hard to win because the uh, games get a bit excessive. So anyway, UHC highlights is basically going to be where I take a really long game and only leave in the interesting parts. Uh, so it makes a nice compact episode that you guys will enjoy. And it makes it, oh geez, hit last but it makes it very fun for everybody. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Number two, I'm going to be on a different IP and server every time I play. I might revisit servers or like only play on certain servers once. And I might do stuff other than vanilla game types that I'll explain to you. In today's episode, I do something different, which I explain later on. But basically, if you guys want to check out IPs and stuff, read the description below for more information so you can find servers that you like um, based off my series. And I think I've pretty much covered everything. <clears throat> the last thing I needed to say is that face cam isn't going to be a part of this series because um, I'm going to be splitting up the episode a bunch. So I, uh, it's going to be hard to edit the face cam to that. And plus, um, the video file is going to be big enough as is with perhaps recording it. So I don't want my computer to get too filled up. And um, shaders aren't going to be in here because I'm going to be caving a lot. And it's going to be pretty dark. So I don't want shaders to be on that part. And plus, it makes my frames drop a lot so that's pretty much it guys hopefully y'all enjoy make sure you leave in the comments below what you like and do not like about this series be as descriptive and as honest as possible uh i'm only gonna get better by your guys' help um i'm gonna review the episode once it's done to see what i like and dislike but make sure you guys please let me know in the comments below uh it's gonna take a couple times before i get a really good take so yeah that's gonna be a thing but other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys at the end. Alright, guys, welcome to episode one of UHC Highlights. Today, we are doing something called a Twitter UHC. Because XME is gaming crash when I tried to use it. So basically, this game is going to work a little bit differently than expected. Um, I didn't know what this was when I first saw it, but now I have a much better understanding of it. So let me get into an explanation. Um, we're doing a UHC that is Blood Diamonds and Best PvE. So let me explain what each of those game modes means. Uh, Blood Diamonds is a game mode where if you mine a diamond, you lose one heart of your health. And of course, since this is UHC, you don't regenerate your health, so it's kind of a risk to mine for diamonds. But there is also a catch to this one, since we are doing best PvE as well. Um, best PvE is basically a game type where there's a list um, where if you don't take damage, you are on the best PvE list. If you take damage, you get off of this list. And I'm going to grab 17 cobble here just so I can make some stone tools and a furnace. So, yeah. Um, with PvE, there's a best PvE list. And if you don't take damage, you're on it. And every 10 minutes, you get healed up one heart. But if you take damage, the only way to get back on it is to get a kill. So, basically, that's what I'm going to have to be dealing with this game. Um, obviously, we didn't get that good of a spawn. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it seems like this is about a, what, 60 player match? I have no clue how much that full tablet is. Um, we aren't losing hunger that quickly, but then again, we have not been doing that much stuff. Oh, jeez, what do we get? We got some, uh, cooked pork chops from that. Maybe this is cut clean as well. I don't really know. Um, but uh, what, uh, did I hear a skeleton? Because that will mess our best PvE up. Okay, we do need a cow, though, for some leather. It's going to be worth taking on a creeper, though. Um, I don't want to take this guy on 
But uh, we definitely do need the leather. Come on. Oh, man. I need to make those stone tools. Come on. Blow up, buddy. There we go. Okay. I have no clue if nethers enable, portal trapping, any of that jazz. Um, okay, so we did get the leather. Um, so now, hmm, okay, so I'll just catch up with you guys at the next part. Alright, getting some stoto coal. I think I'm gonna go over to that roof, boys, just for a small chance of getting some oak trees knocked out of the way. Don't need too much coal off the start. I guess I'll make a couple of torches. We are gonna need sticks, though. Sticks are gonna be key, um, to make stuff. I have no clue. Um, PvP is enabled in 14 minutes, but I have no clue how long the UHC is after that, nor if the nether is enabled or any of that stuff. So yeah, we do have a couple oak trees off to the side. Uh, let's actually come over here. This looks like a mix between, uh, spruce and oak, so let's just go here and get as many of these as possible. People always ask me why I leave the, uh, bottom stumps, uh, when I cut down trees, since this series is probably gonna be pretty... Uh, popular on my channel, at least I'm hoping so, if I do a good job of this, um, I leave that bottom stump there, so when I cut down the trees, I know where to look, um, because after the trees are kind of decayed, it's kind of hard to tell without being right up next to it, where you cut some stuff, so if I leave a stump, it kind of is an indicator of where I was, you guys see what I'm saying, it just makes, uh, life a bit easier, so we can try to get some apples here, see what we can find, Alright, we got one apple over here. Okay, so now we got... Oh, no, we have two now. I didn't even realize they picked up a second one. Maybe there were two in that leaf. I don't know. Uh, two isn't a bad start. I'd like to have a bit more than that. I've cut down maybe six or seven trees. Uh, we do have a decent amount of wood here. Might cut down a few more. We actually don't need that one pickaxe because that thing's going to break fast as lightning. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna be doing a little bit more waiting here, guys, and then we're gonna head off. Uh, we got our leather checked off, our reeds checked off, uh, we got coal, we got food, um, donating, oh, damn it, okay, best PvE players have gained a heart. Oh, so you can get extra hearts, I didn't even realize that, guys, if you, uh, take a look, oh, actually, you guys can't see my mouse because I told Fraps to hide my mouse, so maybe you can see it, I forgot if I unchecked that, but if you can, I do have an extra heart down there. Um, which is pretty cool. So we do have this. So if we could get the best PvE and get like really stacked on a hearts, um, it's gonna be really good when the diamonds start coming around and we're gonna be needing those so we can take away our hearts to get diamonds. I'm gonna try to get enchanted toward the end, of course. Um, yes, you do take damage from mining diamonds, but if you kill someone, it'll add you back to the list. Um, oh, geez, I didn't even think of that. So if you... Uh, mine diamonds it takes you off the best pve list so i think i'm gonna be doing some enchanting toward the end because obviously i'm gonna need diamonds to do that five apples that's more than enough uh we're gonna be doing just fine uh this will be a tough game mode to win though enchanting's definitely gonna be required if i want to win this now that i think about it because of all the extra 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 hearts people are gonna have uh, good news is we are very far from the border, as you guys can tell. We're pretty much minus 1,000, minus 1,000, uh, give or take uh, 250 blocks. So, hmm, I guess we could actually start caving at the moment. There isn't really much more we got to check off on our list. Um, ah, oh, dang it, people unmuted, damn. Okay, so I'm just going to be getting some more coal here, and then maybe as evening approaches, I will get some caving done. Alright, as I've come down more, I can hear lava. Maybe you guys can too, Hugh. I'll give you a listen. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from over here. We're currently at Y16, so I'm going to assume we're going to be at diamond level. As you guys recall, though, we are not going to be mining for diamonds instantly. Enchanting is going to be the last thing on our to-do list. We're going to be doing everything else beforehand. And, you know, since it is cut clean and I don't really have to wait for iron to smell, might as well make... The iron pick that we're going to be needing now. So I can get this redstone for XP. Uh, redstone shouldn't cause us any harm, I don't believe. So let's just get some of that. Um, redstone's always good for XP. Okay, so let's come down here. Okay, hold on. Okay, we're Y11. If Y10 is usually where lava spawns. That's why everyone... That's why everybody likes Y11 the best. It's not... Uh, diamond spawn evenly between Y2 and 16. Um, hold on. I'm gonna try to focus up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hitting another lag spike. Okay, server. Okay, 
Okay, I actually see the particles. Okay, let's see here. Okay, lava's obviously there. So if it's there, am I gonna... Ah, damn it. We're in a gravel cycle now. Gonna have to figure out how to get to this lava. Alright, figured that out. Okay, so now we are obviously here at the lava. There doesn't seem to be a lot that I can do. Um, and it's kind of, you know useless in a sense i don't really like this lava pit there aren't any ores so i'm just gonna be going this way um strip mining allowed i actually don't know uh, don't read the chat it's kind of embarrassing i didn't know where buffalo uh new york was okay so apparently strip mining is not allowed okay we just got another death there by pve <coughs> so let's get uh going on down this way i guess we're just gonna be staircasing at diamond level um, we're just gonna go till we hit bedrock, I'm assuming. That's gonna be the easiest way to find diamonds. Um, even though that's not really what we're looking for. We're more looking for a well-developed cave. Let's just keep coming down and down. Alright, Grace period just sending. Now that means PvP is on. And meetup's in 39 minutes. We gotta hurry. I didn't realize meetup was gonna be that close, but we gotta get some gold or some diamonds. Hold on. Water, water, I hear water. I've been pyramid staircasing. Okay, boom, we got a cave. Of course, fall damage is not going to be acceptable. If we want free health, we got to make sure that we do get the proper thing. Uh, we get down properly. Okay, Um, I don't like the way this cave... I never like digging onto the roofs of caves. Whoa, okay, this is not the time to be lagging and swagging around. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, jeez, we have a lot of cobble. That is an insane amount of cobble we have here. Okay. Oh, we gonna have some server lag here? Okay, zombie. Okay, that's not bad, that is not bad. Alright, let's come down this way. Bam, oh, bam, we got gold and a mine shaft. Now, that could be good or bad based on whether or not we find... A cave spider spawn, but that does mean an instant bow, which is just what I like to see. We might actually find a couple of diamonds as we're in here. Um, right now we're looking pretty good in terms of the golden iron department. Uh, the, what's it called? The mine shaft is probably going to help a bunch with that. Let's see what we got here. It looks like we got a ravine. Um, we got some lapis. Don't really need that. We do have a zombie. Um... I don't want to spend too much time in the mine shaft now they think about it. some gold, obviously. We got a lot of options over here. So uh, let's just take a gander at this. Um, maybe we can find something good we can do with the mine shaft. Obviously, bows are going to be, be a huge plus, and mine coat chest can help out a bunch. But dealing with lag and stuff, we kind of probably should get in and out of there. So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a, uh, I do have a water bucket at this point in time. So what I should probably do is I should probably go down. Uh, we get get that, okay. What I'm probably gonna do is, uh, go down, get my lava bucket all filled up nice, uh, uh, drop down with water, and then, uh, just traverse the lava with that, and try to spend as little time as possible in the mine shaft, um, just so we can ensure our safety. Bam, my boys, we just gained an extra heart, so let's see if we can come down this lava oh, to obsidian level now. Okay, don't really see any threats in the nearby area. That's good. That's just what I like to see. Okay, water takes a bit of time to come down. So let's just build a quick mediocre staircase there. Um, it is going slowly, but I'm not lagging. Okay, let's go for these. Oh, geez, gravel. Of course, we don't want to take uh, fall damage here or any tw uh, type of damage. We actually... Only one, two, three, four. I only see like five people with my amount of health. So that means people are playing this game a bit more recklessly than you'd expect. Um, I think for a game mode where health is kind of given to you for free as a reward, I think people might be playing this just a bit too uh, recklessly. Um, okay, I obviously do hear... Okay, no, 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 no. We got what we needed. We got what we needed. We are not going to jinx it. Come on, come on. We got to get out of here. I hear spiders and all sorts of mobs and junk that I don't want to be dealing with. Now, this is a ravine at diamond level, so we are probably going to spend a good amount of time checking this place out. All right, water isn't flowing. 
Whoa, geez, okay. Yeah, I am spiking all over the place. My internet is still not in good condition, which is not what I like to see. I'm going to have to tell my parents about this, in all honesty, because something's been happening. I think it has started when I set up Netflix on my on the family Nintendo Wii uh, that I kind of wish my mom would stop watching. Um, but, I don't know. We'll try to see what I can do about it. Okay. Um, because what if that happens on Twitch a lot now that I think about it? I haven't streamed since this issue came up, so I gotta think about it. Okay, we now do have enough for a, what's it called? A, uh, anvil. Anvil, anvil. So that's gonna be one of our big priorities here. Let's get that going. We have not found diamonds yet. We found a decent amount of gold. We have 15 gold. I thought they were actually three ores over there, if I wasn't mistaken. But I don't know, maybe we missed one. Uh, odds are we will still find more. That kind of looks promising. Um, where did my bucket of water go? There it uh, went. So let's just get go. <coughs> <coughs> let's get going with this. We only have 30 minutes to find diamonds, which is what I'm concerned about. Oh god, I hate this water. Uh, I hate this lag right now. Okay, let's come across here. Okay, gonna traverse the lava. If any mobs fall on me. Uh, let's at least hope at the bare minimum I don't flow into lava. Okay, so I was kind of already back here. Um, you guys might remember this place. I might edit it out. Not really sure. That's kind of how this is going to work. Hopefully you guys don't miss too much. Um, any diamonds? No. Uh, we ju we're just going to have to scout around the area. Yeah, see, I'm back where I was a couple minutes ago. Um, okay, we can find anything cool down this way. Diamonds. Uh, I'll let you guys know when, uh, we do have some lapis. Um, I'll let you guys know when we find some more interesting stuff. Okay, this looks like a good ravine here by the looks of it. Hopefully we can find what we're looking for and just get out of here. Uh, it is a pretty wide ravine. Let's get some more torches going. Can never have too many of those. Um, just gotta make sure mobs and stuff don't spawn on land that I've already deemed clear. So let's plant that, Okay. Oh, we also got some gold up there. That's going to be worth pillowing up for. Uh, the iron won't be, but the gold for sure will be, obviously, since this is UHC. Um, here. Let's just stick that there so we can ensure our safety in case we get shot off or fall for some random reason. Uh, I think the gold's going to be right up here. So let's just go one, two, three. I expect this to be a vein of five, and it is, of course. I uh, wasn't really expecting anything past that. Uh, let's take a fall. Okay, and that's where our source lava was. <coughs> okay, we do have a wide variety of cave entrances here. I'm going to go back to the ravine. We got some more gold, obviously. A bunch of golden apples will be useful here in terms of uh, our extra health. But, um, because we actually did get a ton, a ton of diamonds. So we have 33, so that's four of our five apples right there. Um, I'm not sure if heads are enabled. Um, heads enabled... Uh, I've never played on this server, of course, if you got, if I didn't say that already. Oh, man, I thought that was diamonds for a second. Can we actually find some diamonds? Like, in all honesty, it shouldn't be that difficult to get a couple uh, dimes around here. Alright, Ravine has been cleared. No sighting of diamonds yet, but we have found this lava pit just right by it. Can we please find some diamonds? We are getting actually pretty desperate for them. Um... Okay, uh, let's just get rid of those. Oh, come on. This way, anyway. Please, diamonds, we need you. Okay. Um, anything this way. Anything, 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 anything. Please, okay, we're just gonna dig around a bit. Uh, it said you can poke hole five. Um, so we're gonna be doing a couple poke holes here. That's how desperate we're getting. What, why are we at? Yeah, Y11, we're right here. So this is getting actually to be pretty annoying that we can't find diamonds in a Y level, what is this, Y level 11 ravine? Um, we gonna poke hole this way? Uh, I've never found an ore from like poke holing or anything. That'd be insanely lucky. Um, maybe we could branch off to one of these side caves, uh, see what it has. I did see a couple. I only explored that way a little a bit. Um, if we check out, oh, jeez, we check out this way. Maybe we should have explored that mine shaft a bit more. Um, here, let's actually throw that down first. Okay, more gold. How much gold do we have now? Uh, let's dig around, make sure. Okay, good. Digging around helps sometimes. Picking up a couple, uh, 
or maybe just one extra block, but that's not bad. One block of gold ain't bad. Uh, we do have 38, so that's going to be enough for, for apples. And I didn't even see that gold that we're still going to have to get. <coughs> <coughs> Let me just get that while we're still down here. And that'll be 40, and then bam, we'll have those five apples right away. I hope everybody else is having a hard time finding gold and can only get uh, killed by the uh, diamonds. That'd be pretty funny. But, of course, we do need the diamonds ourselves. I don't care if I lose all these hearts that I have now. We need those diamonds sooner or later, guys. It's gotta happen. Um, hopefully, obs oh, no, cut clean doesn't really reduce obsidian time. We still do have 15 minutes. That's still a decent amount of time for caving, but not ideal. BAM, MY BOYS! Speaking of diamonds, okay. Let's make sure we got a good vein here, because I don't want to waste hearts until I know we can get guaranteed enchanted. But this does not look like a guarantee for the time being. This looks like a vein of two. Oh, okay, how many is this? Is this four or five? Because we got to know that right now, if we are going to risk our thing. Okay, right now it looks to be... Looks to be a vein of four, not going to lie. Um, yeah, pretty sure this thing is a vein of one, two, three, four. So I'm not going to dig it up yet. You guys might be thinking, Liam, you're stupid. It's diamonds, mine them. But guys, uh, it takes five to enchant. And, um, if we only have four, uh, that's just going to be stupid hearts. We could gain an extra heart. And speaking of more diamonds, my boys, just as we were about to end our caving session. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so obviously that's a thing. Um, I believe we get our next heart in two minutes so after that we'll be at 150 then we can have a crack at these diamonds and then we will be able to um go from there get our own chance and get the hell out of here so that sounds good to me so i think i'm just gonna wait the next two minutes out until i can get these diamonds confirmed okay 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 oh geez that could have been bad jesus christ okay let's put some blocks there yeah Perfect example, we got to torch up the area here. That could have really taken us down. Okay, so over here we have a vein of four, and over here we have a vein of four. So that makes eight. So that's going to be diamond pick and the enchant table, but I don't think I'm going to need the other three diamonds, guys. I'm not going to have enough to make a uh, diamond armor, at least with what I have now. So, I don't know. Once we get this extra heart going, I think I'm only going to mine five because those extra three diamonds, we're not exactly going to need. And it's half a heart for each of those. That's insane. I don't want to take one and a half hearts for diamonds that I'm not going to end up using. Uh, now, diamond armor is very overpowered. If you guys have ever heard me and my SGs, um, I, I did a test in a vanilla world one time. Found out that uh, diamond armor is better than prot for iron like diamond armor is so much better than um regular armor if you guys did not know okay so let's get that going we obviously need to make our books we're only gonna have one book so there's gonna be no like extra prot and stuff okay uh when do we get the next heart uh damn it spelled heart wrong when do we wait did it say that okay yeah it did say that <clears throat> I'd like to say it's at 12 minutes when we get the next heart. Um, um, at the 10 mark. Oh, okay, there we go. We got our fifth heart. Let's get some go time going. Um, okay. So now we're starting to take the damage, which sucks, but it's got to be done. I don't like these diamonds flying everywhere, and I want that to be blocked up. Oh, shoot. Oh, geez, that would have been bad if we didn't get that. Okay, but do we actually get to keep those hearts? I wonder if uh, we'll be able to use uh, the golden apples for that. Okay, don't want to waste any diamonds here. Um, glitches are happening left and right at the moment. So let's see. Let's get that. Okay, we got a diamond pick now. Um, now we need to get the obsidian, of course. So that's going to be a long process. Um, since the server's probably going to lag, I'm, I think I'm just going to do a relog. Alright, the enchantment table has been made. If you guys missed it, uh, probably going to edit it out. I took another half heart because I had to mine one of those diamonds to get the fifth diamond to make the enchant table. So I guess we are now going to start the enchantment process. Hopefully we get prot one everything. That's going to be our main goal here. And then maybe we'll be able to combine and get a better sword and stuff. Obviously, la ah, dang, I don't want proj. I want a... 
lot, so we're going to be doing that. I'm going to show you guys all my enchants. I don't know if you guys like watching this. Damn, Prod again. Are you serious? Come on, let's get uh, let's get some Prod 1 luck up in here. Um, Okay, my iron just fell out. Okay, protection 1. That's what I like to see. Man, I hate getting bad enchants. There's nothing that makes me more mad than Bane of Arthropods, though. I'll tell you that much. Um, Let's see. Uh, and that's, of course, on the sword. Uh, Prot 1. Um, let's see what we can get here. Let's just put the iron back there. Uh, Prot 1. Um, let's see. We're gonna need a good sword, obviously. Oh, you... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that one was just kind of funny. I get it. You know, okay. But let's let's stop screwing around. Uh, so... <coughs> <clears throat> and actually get a good weapon here. Okay. Come on. What are we gonna get? Level one, please. Smite. Oh my gosh, no. Not this cycle. There's always one thing that I can never get enchanted properly. And we're gonna need sharpness too anyway. Uh, we're gonna spend levels on a good bow and a good sword. Okay, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, why are these swords so crappy? What the heck? Okay, now I gotta make two more. And this is burning through levels, guys. Keep that in mind. I need these levels to combine stuff. Are you serious? Jesus! That took, what, seven enchants? Oh my god, I wasted so many levels on that. Okay, we're gonna need a show up two at the minimum here. That's a must. Knockback? No. Oh my gosh. How many swords do I have to make before I get it right? This is insane. I'm gonna have to go trudging through that ravine again. And maybe I, I might have to get some more levels. Finally, jeez. Let's throw that anvil down. Okay, what do we got? Shout one, shout one, shout two. Okay, that's going to be it for that. Okay, now we need a power two bow. Um, I believe its string is on that side. Yes, it is. Um, Did I not put that there? Because I meant to. Okay, if we enchant it at the first level, it is guaranteed power. And of course, we wasted all of our levels getting the damn iron sword. So, <coughs> let's just scoop this up and see what more levels we can scavenge in these last seven minutes. Alrighty, five levels. Okay, so I have my setup here. We mine some lapis and redstone and stuff. So let's get this other bow enchanted too. Power one. And bam, my boys, we have a power two. Looky there. We don't really have the iron to make anything better. Um, I might... It's going to be vital... I will say, it will be vital that we do have enough arrows, so obviously I'm going to be editing this next part out, but we are going to be doing the always fun flint farm, and of course... Alright guys, the flint farming is done, I decided to stop after 19 flint, that's going to be good enough. So now that we have that, we might as well use up our last few iron ingots to make a iron bucket, there's plenty of lava around here, we're going to need that for our uh, final death match. Pumide has been enabled. I don't know if uh, I told you guys that or not, but it has been. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, it's meetup time. So, gotta figure out which way zero zero is. Um, okay, it seems like this way. Okay, so we're gonna be heading uh, to zero zero now. It's obviously a thousand blocks away diagonally which means it's actually like you know a bit longer than a thousand blocks away which would take like five to seven minutes to get to let's just have some good luck here um we do have high health uh let me actually get those gaps right where they need to be <coughs> i guess if i see someone i could try eating one of these just because of those extra hearts we have right there so i'm gonna be running toward zero zero now try to see what i can get and uh let's just go from there Okay, Cabral, still at 121. Okay, um, we're gonna have one now. Okay, that did heal us up, just like we thought it would. Um, didn't get absorption from it. Okay, I don't know what these guys keep complaining about 0, zero for, because I'm here and I don't see anyone. Um, let's take a quick gander. Okay, that's gonna be Cabral. Um, I'm at 0, zero. Okay, shoot. What did I just witness? Um... Oh, jeez, that guy, okay, that's Cabral right there. I gotta lead him to the other guy, there's no hope. Nope. What? I just took, like, three and a half of damage. Okay, whoa, 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 what just happened to all my golden apples? I just took, like, three and a half of damage. 
I had like five just in uh, two or three. What the heck was that? This guy does have a slow horse, though. I'll give him that. Okay, he's now on 11.3. Not really looking too good. Are you kidding me? All my gaps glitched. That, like, isn't even fair as is. Did I lag out again? Hopefully not. Okay, I got hit. Okay, where did my gaps go? Um, okay, there's a guy. Oh, that's Cabral. Someone else is hitting me. Okay, we gotta get out of here. I don't want a combat log, but, like, in all honesty... Okay, we need another gap here. Okay, oh, come on. There my gap. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, I got killed by a glitch because my three golden apples disappeared. I needed those. There was no way I could have taken on that fight. Oh well, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this first episode of UHC Highlights. Obviously, my internet did have a big factor in this game, and I'm going to be on that. Uh, I've been promising UHC Highlights for a while now, guys. Um, it, even though I lost, there will be some wins in the future. Trust me, it was a fun one. It was a really cool one. Thanks for playing. Um, yeah, there isn't really much I can do about it now. Um, I like Blood Diamonds. I did like Best PvE. It was all good game modes and stuff. But internet was obviously a big factor, and the glitch golden apples at the end was a big factor. So those were the two things that kind of I could try to work. Or no, those were the two things that were my downfall, I'd have to say. And plus, I was also undergeared. Uh, there were a lot of factors into it. But other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed my first episode of UHC Highlights. Remember to leave a comment uh, telling me what you thought and what I can do better now. See you guys next time. Peace!